Richard, why aren't there more senior women in the state agency? Talk to me. Great question, Chris. And there are more senior women in the state agency now, and there is a huge shortage of senior women in the state agency. I think that the industry has realised that the fairer sex make fantastic estate agents and make great leaders. And the corporates, from what I've seen, have caught that trick quite quickly and you're going to see a lot more and you do already senior women in positions in the industry. You know, my own, my own wife is a, is a professional woman, works in the city in London, has been there for 20 years and has got a very influential uh, job, but gets to see the difference that, you know, when you work in the city in London, yeah. where the culture is still 20 years ago. You know that that's still very much isn't it. that the same in a state agency i think i think, I think generally you know you know if you go to linkedin and look up the you know estate agency bosses mm. you can probably count it on one hand well-known senior females mm. but the the males are shed loads yeah why um i mean don't, don't get well i think i think without sort of having a big long discussion it's 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 well, that's um, what we're here for it's probably uh impacted culturally um to a degree However, I, I would say that thankfully it's changing, and not quick enough though. Probably not quick enough. Okay. Uh, probably not quick enough. And why do you think it's that way? I mean, I've got my thoughts. I'm going to ask yours first. Mm -hmm. Come on. Why do I think I think that the industry has got an image of uh, a slightly chauvinistic? Uh, um, laddish um, success almost Gordon Gecko kind of like sports car okay, but flashy now, mobile phone I, I'm going to have to slightly disagree with you on that one because mm -hmm. uh, I think that was it 20 years ago mm. I, I think it's deeper than that I think it comes down to is, is that is, we were talking about it earlier that there is a, a thing in the industry where if you're a decent valuer you're assumed you'll be a decent manager. Okay, yeah. so that's one thing. Mm. I think the second thing is men tend to be a lot high, have a higher quotency for self confidence and therefore take themselves. Well, I think I could do that, so I'll have a go. Mm -hmm. Whilst I think females have a slightly lower quotency on their self confidence. Yet at the same time, that means that men tend to push themselves. Whilst females, I think, I have a much higher quotancy for emotional quotancy. Is it EQ? Is that what they call it? Mm. Is that right? Uh, emotional intelligence. Yes. I, I don't really know too much. Because I think, I, think, yeah. I think females make better estate agents. Mm. Because let's be honest, moving home is a very emotional thing. Yes. I think that, um, I, I don't know uh, if I wholly agree with that, but one thing I do know is that women generally make better estate agents, generally make better salespeople and are generally able to build rapport much quicker with people because we have it that women are more trustworthy and one of the reasons for that is they probably are. Okay. Okay. Um, women are more, in my experience, emotionally intelligent than men um, and I think that they uh, um, make great salespeople. I think the industry is changing. The senior positions, like you say, the way it's worked over the last 10 years is you came in at one level and there hasn't been a lot of uh, women coming into the industry maybe 10 years ago for whatever reason. I don't know all the reasons. Um, but the, what's really important is those things are changing. And also what's important is there are more opportunities and it's up to us as an industry to make sure that what what responsibility do you think females have to to promote themselves to to, to get those next jobs? Um, well, I, I, I'm not sure they. I think as as an industry, I know we're making sweeping statements here. Yeah, but but surely it comes down to personal responsibility as much as we as an industry have to did it did it from a holistic point of view. Yeah, individuals have to take responsibility. Yeah, what I, can they do? Yeah, well, I think that. Um, there are more opportunities. Like I say, I, I see myself 
now far more women in the industry in the state agency and i think generally in 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 work and success you know and and uh women are having careers pre-families some of them are, are deciding not to have families and those that are having families are going back to work and companies see the value in allowing that journey to happen okay. and companies are understanding the question come on what was the question what do what do individuals have to do themselves individual people individual females that feel i know, i want to make the next step but they're, for some reason they're not pushing themselves what should they do what should individual what should individual let's what, what should an individual branch manager do in a corporate or or in an independent that thinks themselves i i want to go to the next step what should they be doing to improve themselves so they do make that next step well they should be doing what what the same as what what anyone should be doing you know making making sure they're skilled and trained as I say, and training able. what about attitude and mindset um well i don't think it's a, it's different between men and women i think it's the right mindset if you've got a if you want to develop oh, no, your career yeah. and, and go into management area okay. management and operations or, or uh, you know direct sales director whatever it, the path is that that is open to many people once they hit branch manager there's lots of uh, options to people once they hit branch manager is to either try something or look at something that resonates with you, I'm with you. and 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 see how that goes nobody should sort of take a career path because they think well I'll, I'll do this because you know I'm of a certain background or I'm, I'm of a certain sex or I'm of a certain uh, uh, demographic and there aren't a lot of people there I should do that to pave the way no you should do do things that, that you are passionate about that you believe in and 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 I feel that there's enough change in society these days. You know, I've got a professional wife. I've got a young daughter who's 11 years old who tells me she'll be running the country one day. And some days I look at her and think it's possibly true. Um, and um, you know, and those opportunities. And it's up to us more as men, I think, to make sure that we keep those paths greased and we support women in the industry and, and, and push them and, and support them to develop their careers as far as they can. Thank you, Richard. One final note there, boys and girls. Um, in the summer of 2019, we're going to be having a big room with, uh, we're going to have like an open conference and we're going to invite ladies, females into that room who are in senior position roles and people who are probably want to go to those roles and actually find out what they want so we can help the industry as a whole. So good news. Great news. I'd love to be there.